Hi, my name is Dr. Doyo Edward. I'm a dental surgeon at Kisumu Dental Center. And today we are partnering with Ponea Health to speak about tooth extraction. You know, simply put, tooth extraction is a removal of the tooth from the mouth. Some of the reasons uh, your tooth may get removed are uh, one, if uh, the tooth has undergone some damage because of decay or because of trauma, uh, or tooth, a tooth may be removed to, uh, as part of some other treatment. For example, uh, if you have uh, teeth which are uh, crowded, meaning your teeth are not fitting well within the jaw, they may be removed to create space to allow for alignment of the other teeth. Now, there are certain things you need to know before your tooth extraction procedure. Uh, one of them is uh, it is important if you are on any medicines which uh, will uh, put you at risk of bleeding. For example, if you are using blood thinners, then you need to notify your dentist so that that is addressed up front. Uh, this is a surgical procedure that will result in bleeding. Uh, the other thing is... Uh, uh, if you are allergic to any medicines, you need to notify your dentist as uh, there are medicines which might be used in the course of your tooth extraction. If you have other health conditions, for example, if you have high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, uh, or any other uh, uh, serious medical condition, uh, like your own cancer treatment or uh, some other treatment which will depress your immunity, you need to notify your dentist as he, the dentist may need to uh, modify your treatment to suit your particular needs. Now, so after your tooth is removed, the healing should progress uneventfully, but there are some red flags that you need to look out for that may necessitate you to go back to the dentist uh, for a re-evaluation. One of them is uh, if you have prolonged bleeding, meaning you still have active bleeding, 24 hours after your tooth is removed, you need to visit the dentist. Uh, no, uh, some pain after the tooth removal, minimal pain is expected, uh, which should subside by the third day and is usually controlled using some pain medication. If you still have severe pain by the fourth day after your tooth is removed, uh, you need to visit your dentist for re-evaluation. Uh, now there's some uh, uh, conditions that uh, may arise after your tooth is removed, which uh, let me call them uh, complications of tooth uh, extraction. Uh, one of them is that uh, it's uh, being an open wound, you may develop generalized infection of the body or a localized infection of the extraction area. Now, this uh, may require uh, re-evaluation by your dentist. Uh, if you have uh, uh, prolonged bleeding, as I've already explained, you need to uh, consider it a complication which may need to be readdressed. Now, certain things you need to do after your tooth is removed, one, is to help stabilize the blood clot that will form in the extraction area by biting firmly on some uh, sterile cotton gauze, which your dentist will place over the uh, extraction area. Uh, the other thing is to avoid disturbing the area after removing that cotton. So you avoid uh, uh, a vigorous rinsing of the mouth or uh, chewing on the same side where the tooth has been removed from uh, for two days following the removal of the tooth. Thank you for uh, viewing this episode and we invite you to uh, join us again and check out our next episode. You can access our services uh, by booking on ponea.com.